Charles Flanker comes to the bottom of the screen. Texas second and 12. Backed up at its own three yard line. And to Campbell down he goes at about the five yard line. And uh, that may be the strategy now. Let him run off some time off the clock. And Eric Saban come in and kick a long one for him. Dave Hudgens, number 70, makes the tackle for Oklahoma. There's a look at the Longhorn offense. Down now three minutes to play, Chris. By clock, it comes in as Jones comes out. This 47. Lockett, sophomore from Fort Worth, Texas. In the game for the Longhorns. Two minutes, 50 seconds to play. This is third down, nine, Texas. The ball at their own six-yard line. Lockett, flanker down the bottom of the screen. Campbell, hit, drop at the six-yard line, and Texas will punt to Oklahoma on fourth down and nine with less than two and a half minutes to play in the game. Earl Campbell. Oh, I don't know whether he's just tired. Yeah, he's just tired. Oh, he's got to be tired. 22 carries, 117 yards, won a 24-yard touchdown that has been the only touchdown of this football game. And he's Oklahoma. having a little trouble with his right leg. <laughs> he's limping. a little bit. He always looks like he's limping, though. Well, he had some trouble with a hamstring uh, last year, and uh, the trainer, Frank Medina, is looking him over now. I don't know whether it's serious or not. Freddie Nixon, number 11, Oklahoma. Of course, hoping for a big punt return here. There's two minutes, 30 seconds left to play in this football game in Dallas. Texas, underdogs by four, maybe five points. Leading second ranked and unbeaten Oklahoma, 13 to six. Slavin in his own end zone. Let's see if the Sooners go after him. Oh, they're setting up the return. Eric Slavin gets a kick away. And what a beauty. Oh, it's close. Nixon catches it over his shoulder to 25. Goes back inside the 20. Up to 25, 30. Then it's stuck at the 34. Down he goes. What a hit. Bruce Schultz, reserve linebacker out of Austin, Texas, a freshman. Came down the field to make that hit 74 yards on the kick. Uh, Russell Eric Saban Watch this. Hit. Bruce Schultz from Austin Crockett is a linebacker. A linebacker, mind you, and he's 6'6. Six, six. What a hit. Oh. Oklahoma has it first and 10. Sooners at its own 34 yard line. They say they never think they lost the game. They always know there's time for them. And let's see what they do. Lott makes the pitch to Peacock. Tries to turn the corner. Step on the man at the 35 out of bounds at the 40. Oklahoma's going to work the sidelines with the pitch outs and the passes and so forth to try to conserve what little time there is left on the clock. Two minutes and ten seconds. Oklahoma's down by seven points. 13 to six to Texas. You know, Steve, we were talking at the uh, top of the football game. And we talked about the fact that Texas really didn't know how good they were. Texas did not play a team that uh, was a very good team up until now. I'll tell you what, Texas has a good football team. There's no doubt in my mind both of them deserve to be in the top five. Thomas Lott, Oklahoma, second down, five at the 40-yard line. Lott back to throw wide open as Bobby Kimball has it, drops it at the 48-yard line of Texas. He was wide open by himself and simply dropped the football. Incomplete pass, two minutes and five seconds left. Thomas Lott back to pass, and he waves uh, Steve Rhodes out just a little bit further. There he is, Steve Rhodes, number 24. Bless his heart, he just dropped. Here's a big one, third down five, Oklahoma now. They need to reach almost the 45 for the first down. Lott keeps it, loses the football. Campbell's back on it, back at the 34-yard line. And now it's fourth down for Oklahoma with the mid-56, 55 clock counting left. The Sooners, I'm sure, are going to try for it. Is still moving. A minute 45 left to play. In a fourth down, Oklahoma with about 11 yards to go. In comes Dean Blevins, out comes Thomas Lott. In comes Steve Rhodes. There's Barry Switzer. He has never lost to Texas. The Longhorn fans are cheering, but I think they're cheering one down too soon. This is fourth down. Dean Blevins in to throw for it. Needs 11. Campbell's out of the pocket. Dean is going to try to run for it, and he's not going to make it. Out at the 39-yard line, and Texas has held. 111 left to play. Lance Taylor, 32, Stephen Michael, 99. And the Longhorns can feel it now. Look at there's 34.
37,400 happy people right now and 37,400 sad. From our vantage point atop the press box, we look right across the 50-yard line, and exactly half the people on our left are cheering and wearing orange, and exactly half the people on our right are not saying a thing. They're all sitting down very quiet, hoping that uh, something is going to happen. We're down to a minute and 11 seconds. Well, Oklahoma always feels that something will happen. And those seem to prove out for them. 111 left to play. Texas knows that, too. Earl Campbell will be at the top of the eye. Jimmy Johnson in the back in front of him. There's the whistle. The flag goes in the air and delay of the game against Texas. One minute, 11 seconds left to play here at the Cotton Bowl. It is Texas leading Oklahoma 13 to 6. A little too much celebration on that fourth down play cost him some time and five yards. And of course, I'm, I'm sure Fred Akers thought if Oklahoma these timeouts, well, maybe Russell Erksleben could kick a, a field goal. But that Texas fan starting to cheer. We're number one. They came into this game unbeaten, 3-0, ranked number five in the nation. Oklahoma, 4-0, ranked number two. Put it back. Country keeps it himself. Goes to the 40. Goes down near the 35-yard line. Sherwood Taylor, 31, strong safety. Made the tackle. Here's, here's the doubt. Earl is leading in the blocking. He gets a good block here. Randy cuts up field inside. He was following Earl Campbell. Earl Campbell got him a good block down there. And again, the fierce hitting is such that Texas has lost another player, David Studdard, one of the few seniors on offense. Right tackle is out, and Gary Sayre, a sophomore, is in his place, number 70. 53 seconds to play in the game. Texas 13, Oklahoma 6. The Longhorn fans who have not won this football game since 1970, who had the chance to celebrate, are woken it up right now. There's Coach Fred Akers talking to his quarterback. What do you think he's telling him? Don't fumble. <laughs> well, you notice on the last play, they didn't, they won the handoff. Won the handoff. They, the quarterback kept the ball. I think that's the strategy now, instead of giving it to I'm sure to, to run wide and run out the clock as much as possible. You're right. Seconds. Left to play. Randy McKitchin for Texas. Second out, so he just falls on it out. Oklahoma cannot stop the clock. 45 seconds. Clock is running. This will be a third down for Texas. Texas number one. You see in the stands there. Well, I have a new Texas coaching staff, young football team. I have a feeling Mr. Akers is going to get a ride across the field. Down he goes again. And I think there's someone else we have to remember. That's a young quarterback who came in after the two top quarterbacks were knocked out. Jim McEachin. No, no player on this Oklahoma team had ever Randy lost McEachin. to Texas. No Look at Eric Campbell. Earl Campbell on the 50-yard line and and really Texas. enjoying this. Texas there it is. Texas has beaten Oklahoma, upsetting the Sooners 13 to 6. Oklahoma's first loss in 1977. And Fred Akers and Barry Switzer, the two who played together at uh, Arkansas, coached against each other on different occasions. Fred Akers has beaten Barry Switzer. It is Texas 13, Oklahoma 6. We'll be back to wrap it up here at the Cotton Bowl right after these messages. Want to really save on that paneling job? Well, now is the time at Handy Dan. Since 1970, has beaten Oklahoma. Texas 13, Oklahoma 6. And there you see the Oklahoma people. And for the Sooner fans, a long trip back across the, to the Red River. But I tell you, they, uh, I know they have to uh, be thinking about this one and the many missed opportunities. There, of course, the two governors of the states, Governor David Bourne on the right. Governor Frisco, of course, uh, in the middle there. Ready to uh, exchange the trophy, the gold hat trophy, symbolic of this great rivalry in college football. Governor Bourne looks kind of glum there. Well, I, I can certainly sympathize with him and with the OU fans because it's a fantastic team that played exceptionally well. 
Here are the final statistics. Oklahoma really had the statistics today. Uh, but field position and kicking was, was a big difference. 12 for Oklahoma and first downs, 9 for Texas. Darrell Wells just came in the booth. We'll try to get him over here in a second. Yards rushing, 193 yards for Oklahoma, 120 yards for Texas. In passing, 46 yards, Oklahoma, 57 for Texas. There you can see total yards. Both these teams well off their statistics. The earlier games, 239 total yards to 177. The turnovers, Texas, two mistakes, but they were early. Oklahoma, one fumble. And the punts, of course, you see two great punters, Russell Ertzleben, along with Ovon Shaman, put on quite a display today. Texas beats Oklahoma 13 to 6, and there aren't many people in Texas happier about that than Darrell Royal Athletic Director. Congratulations, Coach. Well, it was just a tremendous win, and uh, as I told you at halftime, I, uh, the, the job that Fred Akers has done with our football program has just been marvelous. It, uh, the fantastic job that he and his coaching staff have done. It was a total team victory. Uh, gee, I've never seen a game so fiercely fought. Uh, of course, every game I've ever come to the Texas Oklahoma game has been fiercely fought. Uh, it, it, it's a big thrill for us, and it gets our program back up where it once was. And I'm just tickled to death for Fred and uh, and all the football players and his entire coaching staff. Well, I'm sure he'll take his hat off to you, Coach Royal. Those are uh, Darrell Royal players down there, of course. Well, I tell you what, they're, they're Fred Aker's coach. <laughs> coach, well, what a job. The, the two quarterbacks down uh, early and the comeback and the pressure on that young man. Uh, what a game for Well, him. Randy uh, got a very severe knee injury last year, and I thought his football career was over. And this shows you what uh, tenacity will do. It shows you what courage will do. He hung in there. I don't see how anybody could have possibly expected Randy McEachin to do any more than he did today. He uh, handled the ball with confidence. He threw the ball expertly when he was called on to throw it. Uh, I, I just, uh, I'm tickled to death for Randy because it's been a long, hard road for him. I uh, also would single out Dwight Jefferson. I thought Dwight what was in this ball game totally as much as any player I've ever seen. Steve, uh, Coach Earl Campbell again. Oh. <laughs> He's the finest athlete you've ever seen. Earl's as good a football player as I've ever been around. I've said that before. And you get him back in that eye formation that Coach Akers has him in and let him get his head of steam, he is hard to bring down. And both uh, defenses proved that it's a game of emotion. Well, defense, I thought it'd be a low-scoring ball game. A lot of folks thought it would be a, a high-scoring ball game. Uh, I, I really didn't. I, I didn't think either team would take the ball and run up and down the field. Uh, both of us have outstanding defensive football teams. I think this is uh, the finest defensive football team Texas has had in quite a few years. Coach Royal, uh, again, congratulations to the University of Texas, to Fred Akers, down on the field. Uh, Governor Briscoe is just accepting the trophy from Governor David Bourne of Oklahoma. The Texas fans aren't leaving here. They are celebrating this great victory for the University of Texas. Once again, the final score was Texas 13, Oklahoma 6. This is Chris Lincoln for Jerry Parks and Steve Ross. Today's game of production of KTUL-TV Sports.